up guys? Hey, more Medic One here and welcome to the shop. And uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Hey, if you are a subscribed uh, member of this community, welcome as well. Today I want to be talking about a tool that will help you save time and save money in your shop. Today we are talking about a 12 volt inexpensive circuit tester for your relays. Lots of lawn mowers and automobiles have relays and this little sucker right here has saved me time and frustration trying to chase down uh, relay circuits and bad relays over the years and I found this a couple several months ago and I love this tool and I'm gonna pass this on to you guys and I'll put links in the description and in the comments to where you can get this relay tester now one thing I love about this relay tester is that you can test it right on the tractor you just hook it up to your battery to a known good battery I should say and once you get it hooked up you're going to notice that you have a red light until you plug in your relay now depending on your relay this is just a four pin this is off of a GMC or General Motors and you just line up your corresponding pins to the tester and you're gonna plug it in and you're gonna select four or five whichever pin number you have and then you're gonna click test now the tester is going to cycle this relay uh, so it's going to cycle it several times and if the light remains red then the relay is bad if the light is green the relay is good so let's go ahead and hit test this relay is good now this is the most common relay found on you know lawn and garden uh, you know just universal style relay it's the five pin all right let's go ahead and get this this one plugged in as so we can tell it's the five pin and we're going to find a five pin receptacle on the tester and we'll go ahead and plug it in and like I said it's going to cycle this relay several times and if this red light turns red it's bad if it turns green it's good we are good on that one now what I plan to do is I'm going to disassemble this relay so that we can see the guts of it and then I'm going to insert a piece of paper inside one of the contacts. This thing has contacts, kind of like an old points and condenser uh, ignition system on a Briggs and Stratton. So I'm going to get this taken apart, and we're actually going to see this tester working this relay back and forth. This is going to be neat. Alrighty, guys, I got this little old relay apart here so we can see what's going on whenever this thing is in test mode. Now we're going to go ahead and test this and pay, a, pay close attention to the contacts and it's working the contacts and it's putting a small amount of load on it and that relay is good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to mimic these one of these points being either melted together or burnt out, either one. So I'm just going to slip a piece of paper right in those contacts, test, and boom, it's going to show it bad. So I'm going to slip the piece of paper on the other side of the contact and we're going to hit test, bad. Test it one more time with no interference. So 
So what are these little gadgets and what do they do? Well, have you ever ran a relay race in school where you, you run with a flag and then a hundred yards down the track you hand your flag off so that you can take a rest and then they keep going and whoever gets to the finish line wins? Well, that's exactly what these are designed to do. You have a low amperage uh, circuit that runs to the terminals here and then off of the bigger terminals runs a electric clutch or your starting system or they even use these to run a ground system for like the kill system or the safety switch safety switches on lawn lawn tractors zero turns etc uh, they use these basically these are a high amp switch for high amp loads such as say like a uh, a tilt and trim motor in an outboard motor uh, I've seen these in those um, like I said in your starting system and especially in electric clutches uh, you just take a, a, a light load and energize this coil and it creates a path for your higher amp load on the thicker terminals here which are these two outside terminals and you can run an, you know higher amperage uh, devices like I said such as a motor to keep you know other electrical things from getting burnt out this will be your sacrificial piece these are cheap they're like three bucks and and they do fail they'll fail mechanically and they'll fail electronically if that coil or that electromagnet goes bad it's, you're dead in the water until you can test it with this tester and then if it's bad you know that's what it is guys i hope this helped you out and if it did give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there go ahead and click that bell to get all my new videos y'all have a good rest of y'all's day more medic one